So I hear you think wrestling doesn't belong in the Olympics. Grapple with this. Wrestling's been a part of the Olympics since the modern games began in 1896, making the union between wrestling and the Olympics older than the Cubs and losing. The link between wrestling and the Olympics goes back even further, past Columbus, the Crusades, the Roman Empire, and Bilbo's journey to the Lonely Mountain. In 708 BCE, the Greeks deemed wrestling worthy of inclusion in the ancient Olympic games. Not even Socrates questioned that logic, and that asshole questioned everything. You ever heard of the wheel? Well, before it was invented, cave paintings around 7,000 BCE depicted two men wrestling in the nude. In the nude, without any clothes on, yeah! Enough about the fundamental nature of wrestling to history, sport, and common sense. Why wrestling in the Olympics now? An Olympic gold medal is the pinnacle of wrestling. That's not the case in the Olympic sports rugby, cycling, Tennis, boxing, soccer, basketball, and golf. A gold medal in those sports means as much as getting to kiss a smoking hot girl's hand. It's great, but not what you dream about. Maybe you think wrestling isn't popular enough. You know, I think you're right. If you ignore the fact that 180 countries have wrestling governing bodies. In 2020, there'll be 26 sports in the Olympics. Can you honestly tell me there's 26 sports more Olympic than wrestling? So next time you find yourself voting for what is or isn't an Olympic sport, just remember the Olympics aren't the Olympics without wrestling. I'm out. One more thing. Modern pentathlon, which includes fencing, pistol shooting, and show riding, is still an Olympic sport. The ancient games had a pentathlon as well. Guess what event was part of it? Horse prancing? Think again.